it's Beanie. Don't forget to like and subscribe to become part of the Hottie Squad. Make sure to hit the notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss an upload. Anyway, enjoy the video! Hello everyone, Beanie here, and welcome back to the seventh day of my 12 Days of Skin Mist series. In this episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a snow jacket and some snow boots on your Minecraft skin. I'm going to be starting with a blank skin over here, but you guys can start on your own skin already or on a blank skin, just whatever you want to do. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the jacket. So the jacket is going to be very, very tricky and we want to make sure first that we are using a Steve model. You can use an Alex model, but I will not be doing this tutorial for Alex models, only for Steve models. And I am going to make sure that the mirror is turned on to a cross, to a cross limbs right here and make sure that none of the overlay is selected on my skin. And I'm going to be making the snow jacket a blue snow jacket. So first I'm going to take the darkest color of blue I'm going to be using. You can copy the hex code right here if you want to use the exact color. And I am going to be starting with the arms. I'm turning off everything except for the right arm. And we're gonna get into it. So how we're gonna be doing this snow jacket is very tricky. It's, it's very hard. This is definitely an advanced tutorial. So what we want to be doing is we are going to go one pixel from the top and, and draw a little line of two pixels like that. And we're going to skip a pixel and then draw another line of two pixels like that and do that one more time like that. Now we're going to take these three little dots here and extend them across the inner side of the arm to the other side and then mirror it onto the back with exactly how it looks on the front. We're going to lighten our blue color by moving it five spaces to the right and moving it a tiny bit more into the lighter blue range, which I already have this color on my palette over here. And then we are going to fill in these lines like this, just going completely across the rest of the skin, just so that it's going to be all connected and stuff. This is going to be the under part of the overlay on the skin. So the jacket's gonna be pretty puffy on your skin. And this is going to be the like under part. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know uh, exactly how to describe that, but yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to draw a two pixel line like that. In the next lightest color, we're going to lighten the color one more time and draw this line like this and going down like that. So we are going to move this all the way across here, connect this at the top, and keep moving this at the back. And if I'm going too fast for you, make sure to pause the video and go at your own pace. So we're gonna lighten the color one more time and fill in the rest of the area on here with this. Just completely filling in all the area that needs it with this fourth color here. All right, now we have the base layer of this completely done. And it looks really silly. <laughs> it's kind of like, what's going on there, right? Okay, so we are going to take our third color. We're using five colors in total. We're going to take our third color and then we are going to turn on the overlay by clicking this little area right here to hide show the right arm wear. And make sure that this box is checked, of course. Then we're going to draw over the darkest color on the overlay with this color. Like this. And there we go. And so we're going to take our fourth color again and then draw over the second darkest color with this fourth color like this. Just drawing over everywhere that we put this 
the darker color right there and making sure that it's all looking nice and good. We're going to lighten the color for the last time and then add some highlights on here just to make it look like it's super puffy. So I'm just highlighting in the middle of the area like this just to make it look very puffy. Here is what it looks like without the under layer and you can definitely use that to check to see if you have any mistakes like I had a tiny one right there and yeah so that's what it looks like with it and without it and that's what the base layer looks like and you can pause the video and edit it if you need to so this we have the arm completely done it's looking super snazzy very nice and we are going to work on the jacket now so I'm turning off the overlay right here so that we can work on the jacket we're gonna choose our darkest color and then we are going to do like draw some lines on here like we did on the other one so I've drawn three going down here, but this time instead of going down one pixel, we are going down two pixels. And just like we did on the arms, we are going to make this connect through the sides like we did. And on to the back, which, oops, oops I did not mean to do that. We're going, yeah, we're connecting it on the sides and moving it onto the back, just like we did. And if you mess up, it's okay. Just make sure you click the undo button up on the top. Now we're gonna take our second darkest color and <laughs> I keep messing up and fill in the lines like this so that they're all completely connected together. They'll all look like one big snowsuit and stuff. And it's just gonna end up, you're gonna end up looking like a big blue kind of marshmallow but I am going to add some definition on it with like the zipper and stuff, but we're not quite to that point yet. So we're gonna take our third color and fill in two blocks inward on all of the white spaces like this. And one at the bottom as well. And we're just going to make sure that these again connect through all the sides and through everything so that it all will tie in together and will all fit. And so far, again, this is looking pretty weird. Like, what's going on here? You don't quite know yet. Uh, because it is kind of random so far. It's hard to tell quite what this is without it being like completely finished. And I would just speed through this part, but um, I wanna make sure that you get to like knowing um, exactly how you do all this. So we are then taking our fourth color and just like we did on the arms, we're going to fill in this space over here, except I'm going to leave a little gap at the top for like where our neck area is. And yeah, I'm just gonna fill in the rest of the area over here, not leaving a gap at the back of the thing because we are going to have a little hood and I'm just continuing to fill this up like that. We're gonna go back to our third darkest color and turn on the overlay for the, <laughs> for the torso. Um, and again, going over the darkest color here, we're just going to do exactly what we did on the arms, but this time on the torso by going over the darkest blue with our third color blue, making sure that it is on the overlay so that you're not just drawing over what you already put on there. Now we're going to take our fourth blue and fill in these sides again, like this, so that it looks very puffy, very fluffy, very snow jacket-y like this, just like a bunch of little rolls and little puffs, you know? Those puffy snow jackets, they're always very nice and very soft. So we got that done completely. We're going to take our lightest color that we used and just add a little bit of like random highlights. They don't have to be completely exactly the same as this, just kind of do whatever you think looks the best, whatever you think will work the best, and that is kind of random. 
So now this is what the entire thing looks like so far. It looks very fluffy and it kind of looks like a snow jacket, but it's also very, not that much definition is on there. So we are going to be adding ourselves a zipper onto this snow jacket. So I'm making sure everything is turned off except for the torso. And I'm going to pick a darker gray color um, so that it looks, it stands out more against the blue. And in one pixel down the middle, I'm going to put this dark gray color like that. And then I'm going to lighten it by five and draw in, actually, no, I'm just gonna completely fill in the thing with that again, okay. And then I'm going to lighten this again by five. And I'm going to fill in every other pixel like that with this. And I'm going to lighten it one more time and fill in a couple of these lighter pixels with that and pretty much that's going to be our zipper so i'm going to turn on the overlay so that we can see what's going on and i'm going to erase over where the zipper is like that and i am going to take our lightest color of gray and just add a little thing on the top as if it's like the little head of the zipper right there so this is what it completely looks like so far i'm going to now teach you how to do the hood part of this this part is optional not all snow jackets have hoods but this one we are going to be making will have a hood so here we go so i'm going to take our darkest color of blue and one pixel up from the bottom i'm going to draw the two pixels up thing that we've been doing for all the little fluffs and you can probably see where this is going by now but on the side I am going to draw two pixels up and then two pixels to the side in that pattern like that and do it the same exact way on the other side and then on the bottom connect it again we are making sure this is on the normal layer not the overlay and we're just gonna fill this in over here on the top on the, on the back side and the bottom like that. And over here, we are going to draw a little V shape in there like that so that it just looks like a little base for our puffiness to land on. And on the inside, we are going to add some of this right here as just like a little area you know you can see what i'm doing we did this exactly the same on all the other things and we have the base of this done you can look at the sides and copy it exactly if what i was saying wasn't exactly clear you can always go back in the video and pause the video and do whatever you need to to get to this point all right now i'm going to take our third color again turn on the overlay but only for the head and i'm going to draw over the part that we just did with our darkest blue. And I'm going to do this on all the sides just so it's very fluffy again, making it everything look like it's all the same, very cohesive, very fitting together. I'm gonna lighten the color one more time and fill in the areas in our second darkest color like this, just continuing what we did on the arms and the body and everything else on here. And I'm gonna take our lightest color and add some more highlights on here, just only on that side. The other sides don't really need it. There's not that much space on them. I'm just gonna turn back on everything to show you exactly what we have for our snow jacket. This is our snow jacket finish and I'm going to be teaching you now how to do some snow boots. So I'm going to turn on the legs here and deselect everything else except for the legs, except for the right leg. I'm only working with the right leg right now. And I am going to pick a nice kind of dark beige kind of tanny brown right here. Something like this. You can copy the exact color code if you want. And I'm going to count one pixel up from the bottom and put a dot there like that. I'm going to extend that dot by two like that. Bring it. Oh, no, not like that. <laughs> not that. Bring it up one and then bring it over one like that and 
I'm going to count up three pixels and put another dot like that. And I'm making sure that this all connects on the back over here and onto the back side, just like that. We're not doing the extra little sticking out parts, just the parts that cling to the inner side over here. And we're going to lighten the color now, the same way we have lightened all the other things by moving this five ticks to the right and a little more into the yellow range. Now we are going to put this pixel right here, put one up like that and one right here. And we are going to draw a line like this connecting that and then a line going across like that. We're going to fill in this empty area over here on the side and on the other side over here we are going to connect these like these areas with our second color like we have been doing connecting everything together like this and just making sure everything all fits together again on the back like that now we're going to lighten our color one more time and move it a little more into yellow and we're going to use our magic wand brush now to fill in all these white spaces right here like that and I'm going back to the pixel brush now and turning on the overlay so that I can put a little bump out spot for the toe right there. Now I'm going to take off the armor and I'm going to use the same dark gray that we used on our thingy over here and I am going to take that dark gray and just put one pixel of it in the corner drag that pixel back and re-put it over here on the corner just making sure it all fits together and then I'm going to draw a line on the bottom and draw two little lines coming out of it like that so it looks like kind of the tread of a shoe and I'm going to lighten this color now and fill in the rest of the tread of the shoe over here and fill in the rest of this part as well. Now we have the majority of the snow boot done. We're going to pick um, a white color over here and we're going to use this to make like a little checkered pattern almost of stuff just so that it looks like there's some fluff coming out of the boots so that they're nice and toasty boots. And then we're just going to lighten the color by 10 and fill in, oh, I messed up, and fill in this area right here just again so that it's very fluffy and very nice and we're going to darken the color by five turn on the overlay and then over our darkest color we are going to put this middle shade of white on top of where it is on the overlay and there we have it we have our snow boots and our snow jacket completely done. This is what everything will look like all together. You can add some nice simple pants and make sure that your face and hands are showing and you are all ready to go frolic about in the snow in your new fresh Minecraft skin. And yeah, it's gonna be really awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for my next Skin Mist tutorial where I will be showing you guys how to make a winter scarf on your Minecraft skin. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!